Okay, welcome back guys. So um let's carry on from where we left off. Please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. If you want to encourage me to keep dropping more contents like this, very important. So uh let's go to modifiers. So this is the form parts. Let's hide these guides for now. Let's go to preview first. Preview or not to turn off only primitive in view. So one just to be generated all around. Okay, let's come back to primitive. I would like to crank this up to 80. Okay, so we have more heads to work with in here. This I would like to crank up to 150. Maybe it may be extremely modest. I think for this it is slightly necessary. On the end. Uh, this is tricky though. Okay, so let us let us let us get to it. We already get gotten this general silhouette of this, but zooming into this, the resolution of this image is not so good. I would need. Obviously, we're not going for something as quality as this. Obviously, uh, we we're trying to go for something similar to this. This is a close one. This is close enough to what we need it to do. Okay, then let's start by creating clumping modifier. This modifier is just to group them. It's just to have group, group kind of group the individual as individual clumps and see a lot of individual clumps around this. So let's let's get to it. So click on setup. One might be a bit more. Let's try. Let's go with zero point two. Zero point two. 0.8 push this to the side can i move this okay i can still move this then generate uh let me can i hide this for now okay, can i just to see the clumping variation in there uh i think let me put this to one generate you can see I'm not leaving large gaps in between. In between this, well, I think we need those gaps. We need those gaps. Let me just let's try 0 0.9 instead. Generates. Okay. Um, this looks like something that should work. But I think we need a bit more than this. So let's try five. Generates. Um. Five seems a bit much, but let's see. Let's just see what we have. Let's just see what we have. So let's save this. Okay. Yeah, I think this should work. This should work. Okay. I will go into this air uh, guides. Let me hide this for now. Select some of this air uh, guide. Rotate this this way. Select this, rotate it this way. Select this. Select this to rotate it this way. Same also with this two. Let's run this again. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we're getting something now. This would work. Let's have this weird feeling of increasing this some more, but let's let's see. Um, let me hide this for now. Let 
if you bring this back hide this think i would select all of this control shift select all of this <clears throat> scale this out some more run this again okay hide the guide so <clears throat> let's let's work with this a bit more I like the lower parts. It's on the is turned on for this. Yeah, and it is turned on. I like the lower part because I like how it blends the lower part down. That's fine. Maybe I would like to spread the tip a bit more, so I'm going to leave it great. Um Let's get this one some more somewhere around so around here. Probably a bit more. Yeah, we can work with we can work with this. We then need to go back in there. We can. Right, so um, this should be fine. Then let's create a new clumping modifier for this. Come in here. Let's generate. Uh, let's see what we have. So I'm going to save this. Let's see what we have with this. That breaks that up. That breaks that maybe even too much. It's breaking it up too much. Way more than I need it to. So I'm just going to go back in there. Let's let me probably use the value of 0 0.5 or 8. Okay, let's try 6 instead. Generate. Save. Okay. I feel like this hair should extend this out a bit more, make it a bit longer than it is right now. Okay, let me just do this from length instead. Instead of scaling out the instead of scaling out the guy air guides. So let's 0 0.5. Okay, fair enough. <clears throat> Let the guides think I can work with this. <clears throat> Let's add the coin modifier. Um, let's add the coin modifier. We have. No doubt we're getting something interesting, but mm. yeah, I knew this was going to be a tricky one. But I, I think I'll like I want this to affect each particular strand of air. Not just the clumpings, not just each clumping, but each particular strand of air. And that's where the tricky part is.
Okay. Let's see. Um, the count of this. Let me let me go back to. Find a way to figure this out. Okay, so let's let's increase the count. Let's try a count of ten for this. Okay. Okay. It's beginning to look more interesting. You can work with this, but we need to modify this some more. So, uh, um, let's adjust count scale. Let's 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 adjust. Let's what we have and adjust. It's taking a lot. What well, reason why it's taking so much time now? Because we have a lot of CV count for this. CV count is quite high. Now nah, let me do a quick save. That's. Okay. Maybe five, maybe ten was too much. So, uh, let, let me randomize this. Let's let's randomize this. Let's see what we have and we'll randomize this. So, um, let's try this. Okay, paste this in here. So, randomizing this from a value of, I'll say five to, uh, let's see. One to five. One to five. No, maybe even two to five. For my for my for my count from two to five. So try this one see what we have. Okay, yeah, we're getting something now. Yeah, this is this is beginning beginning to look more like it, but uh, some correction still needs to be made. It's most especially, <clears throat> most especially on the tip. Most especially on the tip. Tip tip looks a bit weird. Um, maybe maybe it's from this. Radio scale for but let's just let's um let's take this down. Let's wrap and take this down. Yes. That was weird. That's some weird looking shape in there. Let's see. Let's um let me turn off this clone. Let's turn this thing on. Okay. The tip looks really weird. It's just this, this tip. Trying to figure out how to. It's just. It has a very weird looking shape on top of it. Very, very weird. No doubt it's coming from. Okay, I have an idea. Let's see. Let's. Great, great. Let's just great. Let me get this. Around here, let's see what we have. Those don't seem to be doing much, not much happening in the oh, oh, oh. I think, I think, let's believe 
I believe it should be this this up. Let's see what we have. Nah, this weird cut off for the top is just quite weird. It's quite weird. Um, it's really weird. How do we fix this? Uh, okay, you know what? I like to have a secondary pass of coil on top of this uh, or below this, so I'm just going to create a new coil. Okay, <clears throat> wow, awesome! So, just adding that alone can kind of fixes that tip for us. That actually helped to fix that tip, which is cool. Yeah, that actually helped to fix that tip. Let's just do a quick save for this. <clears throat> but let me drag this down. Can I drag this down? Yeah, I can drag that down. <laughs> see, I, see the effects it has on you, which is kind of cool. But I think it's actually this is actually cool because I now now I don't need to. Yeah, this is actually cool. Now I don't even need to. Obviously, need to modify this. Where is that? Where is that? This is an accidental mistake that makes a lot of sense. You can see how some of this shape kind of kind of bends down a bit more. You can see how the shape bends down a bit more. The only thing we need to do now is to is to randomize the maxing for this. We we'll just randomize the maxing for this. <clears throat> okay, so I I would like to randomize the maxing in a in an interesting way. So this is just me experimenting in here. Interesting way. So in, remember how we can create stray hairs. So I'm sure creating stray hairs is not just limited to just um the noise only. So let's see we can. We can add some strays to this so for the max. So let's copy this, copy this, copy this stray and I'll plug this for the max. I'll paste this in here. Make sure this is done. This scrumping to is scrumping to is done on. Uh, okay. Clamping so seems to be messing things up really, really much. That's off. Yeah, I think I'd like to leave. <clears throat> I'd like to leave this the way it is. Okay. Yes, yeah, just more than what we need. What work, working? Oh. It won't work anymore because we added the marks to this. So, I'm going to do is to uh, come in here, says three percentage. Let's do 30 percent. Okay. Okay, let's close this. Let's see what we have. You can see how this randomizes most of the coil in there. Also, some of them to bend over a bit more. You can see how some of them are kind of bent over. But the only downside, the only downside to this three percentage is the fact that if I add a noise and add the same three percentage, it's going to be deforming thirty percent of the of our stray airs. And we don't want thirty percent of stray airs on top of this. Maybe we do, maybe we don't, but we're not too sure yet. But 
let's let's see how we can make this work. But we can easily do that with the with the air guide and then just bend this over. But I think this is a faster way to do it and then kind of get some randomized look to it. Let's do a bit more street percentage. Let's go 60%. This is this even working? 10%. 10%. Okay, is that really working? Let's go 50%. Okay. Um, trying to figure out if I should keep this or not. <clears throat> but one thing is certain though, you can see how it's just making too much of the hair gets clumped together way too close. Way too close. So I think I'll just go for something around 30% will be fine. Okay. You come in here and kind of see this. I think we need to adjust the air guides at the back, so let's temporarily hide this. Put this back. Okay, let's generate some. Sorry. Mm. Okay. Hide this again, select this, scale this down, select all of this, scale this down some more, push it back out, go back in here, and then just take this down to 1.3. Okay, yeah, this thing is manageable. <clears throat> So it's manageable enough. Okay. Before we do anything else, let's just make sure we add some noise. Let's add another modifier. Let's add the noise modifier to this. Uh, noise, 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 noise. Where's noise modifier? Okay. But I think I need to blow this up. I need to blow up the magnitude for this. Frequency. Let's copy this. Paste in here. Do the same for the magnitude. Let me copy this. <clears throat> 
randomize this I think I, I think I, I think I need a larger scale for this magnet. So let's try five. Okay. This we can work with. But no, there's one thing. There's something else also I noticed. You can see there's still some almost like visible gaps in between. I like to have that there, so I'm going to go in one. Under clumping one. Set up. I will take this down even more. Let's try even a value of two. Generates. Two seems too much. Let's go three. Generates. Save. Can't really see much of. <clears throat> can't really see much of what is happening in there though. I turn this off. Okay. Let's try. This gives a good afro looking shaping here but we need we need to break that up even more because we need volume on top of this side some gaps kind of creates some shadow volume in there whereas this might work but i think i'll let to go a bit let to push this a bit further let to push this a bit further let's see if plant that if it does anything it does it does actually does something in there kind of get more separation around it which is cool more randomized separation around this okay Not in a certain way. I don't, I don't like. I want. I want this lower part to be a bit freer. So I think. Uh, <clears throat> I think that would be for the clumping. What? Let's hide clumping for now. Let's hide clumping so for now. Let's go on. I really don't want this affecting this affecting you you root that much so see if we can take on no. Let's go. Yeah, this is giving us some really weird effects. Effect around this is pretty weird. Let's undo that. Or maybe it's, maybe it's the scale. Maybe it's the scale. Uh, let's randomize the scale. Let's see what happens when we randomize the scale.
या सिंह इज डेफिनेटली जिसके इशू वॉज फ्रॉम इज डेफिनेटली फ्रॉम दिस खेल I should even try something around okay, before doing that. Let's up or down. Not even sure. Let's go down some more. Yes, it's from this skill. Perfect one. Yes, definitely from the skill. I think I'll need one more. Okay. So, something something is weird in there. Like, like like there's two points around here. I feel like there are two points around here. Yes, they are. There are two points around here. Let's do a quick see just to keep things organized. I would delete. And I would like to list down some more. Yeah, fantastic. Great. This would work. Maybe we we'll get this down some more. That's what this gives us. Yes. Good. And we have some. We're kind of. We're kind of releasing the tension on the. On the roots of this, just relieve some of those tension around the root of this. Maybe even a bit more. Put this for down here. Yes, even better. <clears throat> yes, better, much better. All right, so um, we can let's do a quick save again for this. So under this clumping, under this clumping, Okay. Rather clumping, clumping one rather. I mean coil. Oh, I like keep saying clumping. Coil rather coil. But for the most part, we already have something looking interesting enough. So for this clumping one, let's go in. Ah crap! Clumping two rather. Wait, wait, wait. Which which one did I do? Clumping one is the original. Okay. Let's just yes. Let's just visualize clumping two. Let's just visualize clumping two. Okay. Yeah, this seems fine. This one, this this seems fine. This seems fine. But I also like to randomize the scale. 
the original scale for this okay awesome Okay, you try turn on the clone pin one rather. Sorry if I keep confusing you guys, but I'm sure you guys kind of see it. So I'm not when I'm taking off and on. Okay, uh, I'm looking at this now. I feel like I should adjust this some more. Let me go from one to let's try from one to three and intensity from one to three. Okay. All right, this we can work with. <clears throat> okay, let's see what we have with this turn off. Okay, let's do zero points. Points. All right. <clears throat> okay. Uh, something still bothers me though. Let me if you see. Something bothers me under the clumping one for now. This is fine. Oh, let me see if we can show you guys. We have this tight spare shape at the top. We have this tight spare shape at the top. We can actually keep it though. This is it's not too bad. We can actually keep it but see if there's something doing there. Uh, let's drag this so let's see what happens. Time low because see if we can see we have for each strand on top of this. Okay, that seems to be blowing the tip up. Huh. Mm, I think I can keep this. Can we keep this? Let's see what happens when we this and push it towards instead. Push it downwards instead. Let's see. Just trying to get this to look. Oh, 
respect to <clears throat> yes 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 this would work yes yeah, a more tighter edge to it now <clears throat> more tighter edge to it uh this year i'd like to get some more broken up graph shape in there Just to get a bit of variation around it. Just to get a bit of variation in there. Okay, uh, I'm not getting I'm getting a bit closer to the reference. Let's see what that gives us. Okay. And even more interesting shape to it. All right. <clears throat> Think one thinking um I think what we can do now is the clumping. Let's see let's see what we have. Bring back the clumping. Thinking of thinking of um Going to the setup. Let's do this again. Take this down even more. Let's try one. Generates. The one is too 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 low. Two so generates. Save. Let's see what we have. I'm trying to do some larger groups of clump on top of this. Yes, uh, larger groups of clump. Huh. All right, yes, much better. Looks. You can see how we can. You can see how we get separations around here. Separations of air around here, making it look somewhat more interesting than it was before. Huh. Yeah, I think this will work. So now let's just add one more thing. Let's add the cut modifier to this. Add the cut modifier to this. There is something in there. Let's increase this. Let me use this palette. See, this gives a better result. I'm not really sure what this code here does, but from the tutorial I watched, it was it's supposed to look at each part, each individual strand, and then reduce the length for each individual strand. So Per length, let's get something <clears throat> around 0 0.8. Let's see what that does. Okay, we really see much happening in here though. Is it actually doing anything? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I think we are golden in here. I believe we are golden in here. Awesome. Do you click save? Yeah, this is looking actually good. This we can definitely work with. Maybe to make it more interesting, we can go 
we cannot go let's hide this for now we cannot go into the <clears throat> go into this select this then use the sculpting so let's move this devil out of the way then go to the sculpting tool let's just play with one let's see if if this gives us an interesting result or not let's just do one for now let's, let's see what we have okay that seems to do something i guess Okay, yeah, it's actually doing something in this, so that's cool. So we can continue with this. What do I like to do is to add some more CV counts to the guys themselves. Let me do a quick save. Is to add more CV counts to the guys themselves. So I'll select our ID entire, entire here, select all of this, go to primitive, rebuild. Put this at eight. Click OK. The crap. What just happened? What the hell just happened? Oh crap! 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 I was definitely trying to avoid this. Let me close this. Hopefully, I'm not saving this. Let's close this. No, don't save. Exchange can be really annoying sometimes. Let's open this up again. Let's just hope this isn't this isn't saved into this isn't saved into the mesh. Hopefully, 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 hopefully good good we're safe we're safe we're safe guys we're safe Whew, that was a close one so <laughs> we're going to by all means avoid avoid um rebuilding that those that's those curve guides click okay close this set projects good thing we didn't save that so let's just work on them as individual pieces instead. <clears throat> Drag this devil of it to put this around here. Let's get some interesting look to this. Crazy bro size some more. Let's add some interesting shape to it. What is this? Great. Why are we having issues like this? I don't understand anymore. For goodness sakes, I can't even select anymore. What's going on? Object mode. What is going on? What is this? Goodness, what the hell is this? First, let's save this file. What's going on? Reset to reset. My goodness, what is this? What the hell is happening now? Come on. What is going on? Oh, I was on the I hit B by mis mistakenly, so that's it B. It was on soft selection. Whew. It was a close one. OK. 
okay so i'm just i'm basically just doing this for fun though just to get just to get slightly slightly more interesting shape to this and select all of this Nah, I don't think this is a pretty great idea. Let's just do them individually instead. But you want to be careful though, you don't want to go overboard. Okay. I see one long strand around here, so I think this two I would scale them up like so just to break uniformity. Huh. Let me get this. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's I think this is a lot of strand, but let's just see how much of this we can adjust. So I'm not really going, not really precise with the shape. I'm just trying to get a deformation S curve to it. Save this. Yeah, this one is a good one. This this one is here. This one was kind of bending backward a bit more. Okay. We tilted backward. Okay, same with this. All right, big quick save. Let's see what we have when we generate our eyes on top of this. What the crap is going on? What is going on? Sets. Hairs are no longer being generated out of this. Come on now, agent, come on, come on. Oh, finally. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. As it can be, can be really annoying to work with sometimes. Like, very annoying. <clears throat> 
this doesn't seem to do extremely much but it just helps to kind of break up the tension of this and create some variation to it we could save <clears throat> so in next lesson what i was going to go on to putting some eyebrows for this okay so thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in the next lesson bye for now